AFK fishing is a great way to make money in Black Desert Online. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know with AFK fishing. All you need to get started is a fishing rod and a body of water. Almost all bodies of water can be fished in, but some of them have rarer fish in them than others. You can get a fishing rod at the fish vendor Creo in Velia. Just go shop and it's only 500 silver. And he's located right at the top left of Velia. But even though you can start with any rod, I'd recommend using the Belenos rod or the Furia rod. The Belenos rod decreases the time it takes in between catches, whilst the Ephira rod has a ton of durability. Also, make sure you're wearing some kind of outfit while you're fishing. The easiest one to get is a silver embroidered fisher's clothes. You can just buy this at the central market, or you can craft this pretty easily too. But this is great because it gives you extra fishing experience. Another great thing to do while you're fishing is to use a seafood cron reel because it increases your life experience gain and it also increases your fishing ability. To see your fishing ability, press P or go to your profile in the menus and your fishing ability shows up in the fishing section right here. You can see as you level this up, you can reduce the fishing time by up to 50%. So it's great to have this maxed out whenever you're AFK fishing. Another way you can increase your fishing ability is by getting into a guild that has a guild buff for something called Art of Fishing. This increases your fishing level by three. So this buff plus the outfit will get you to the max fishing level pretty quick. Lastly, before we get to the actual fishing, you should know that every spot you fish in in Black Desert Online has a different drop table of fish. That's why you see a ton of people at the same spot in Velia or Alta Nova. I love to use the website bdofish.com to see what the drop table is in any new area that I'm going to go fish in. This just helps save some time as I'm planning out my fishing sessions. To get started fishing, go to the spot that you want to fish. Take out your fishing rod. And then follow the prompt that the game's giving you. This is saying A because I have a controller connected, but I'm actually playing on PC. So in this case, I'm going to press space. You can also hold spacebar too to make a more powerful throw. This doesn't really do much as it only helps out for the first throw and it doesn't increase the chance of getting a better fish, but rather it gives you more fish from the same catch. It's not a bad idea to use it for your first throw every time and you might as well pair it up with a float because floats give you a better chance of catching a rare fish and you might as well just hold a float as you're fishing as well. Then you have to wait a bit until you get a catch, and then once there's a little fish icon above your character, then you're able to go through the, with the mini game. And so in this case, I'm gonna press space, and I have to press space within the gauge. I can't do it in the red meter, I have to do it in the, within the, the little black meter there. So now. And then I have to use WASD to do this mini game, and the better the reward, the harder that that mini game is typically. There you go, there's a manual catch. And just to do an auto fishing catch is the exact same thing. You don't have to do the energy to 10 here, you can just do a regular throw. Just leave it like this. And when that fish icon appears above my head, that will just take a little bit more time for my character to auto fish it and automatically do that mini game. One thing I suggest as you start leveling up fishing is to check off the blue fish or even the yellow fish to not spam your inventory with tons of fish that you don't need. You unlock these as you level up fishing. Once you've fished for a bit, you're going to have to repair your rod. So make sure you go out to your blacksmith, repair your gear so you can go back out there. Once you've got some fish to sell, first place you're going to want to sell them to is the Imperial Fishing Delivery person. So go to their menu and just click sell all and you're not going to be able to sell everything here. So to go sell everything you have to go out to your trade manager and same thing talk to your trade manager go to trade and then just do sell all. The imperial fish delivery locations are out at Velia. There's one down at Glish as well. Then the next one's at Port Etheria. And then the next one would be down at this area called the Splashing Point. Which 
which I believe it's right here. And then there's also one in Valencia City. It's also important to note that you can get a bonus selling to a trade manager if you've traveled a far ways from where you first caught the fish. I like to use this tool called somethinglovely.net slash BDO slash crates to calculate how much extra you can make doing this. I caught a ton of tilefish out in Alta Nova the other day, and if I sold this in Valia, I'd make 26% more. One thing to note for this is that fish can drop in value the longer you hold on to them, so make sure you carefully plan out your trading trips for them. One other item that you're going to get a lot when you're fishing is called Ancient Relics. These are great, they almost sell for 1 million each, and you can combine 5 of them into a plus sign for a boss scroll. These boss scrolls you can do solo or in a party. In a newer update, Black Desert's made it that everybody in your party has to have the same amount of boss scrolls in order for you to even do that. So make sure that if you're joining with a group that everybody has the same amount. But yeah, the last tip I'm going to give is that if you're starting out fishing, I'd suggest going out to Velia because you're able to exchange some common items that you find when you first start out fishing. And these can get you some useful items like Creo's fishing chair or some straight up fishing skill experience. So you might as well do this. One thing to know is that this fishing chair isn't repairable, but it's a nice plus 100 fishing mastery buff you might as well have. Alright, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope this video helped you out. Be sure to check out more of my guide videos to help you out in Black Desert Online. Cheers!